what's going on everybody this is lemon drop 140 and i'm back with more srx the game now this week's videos are going to be different i'm doing all three races in one video because i have a little bit less time this week so hope you guys don't mind one larger video as opposed to three small ones but with that out of the way let's go to new mexico shall we <coughs> oh man looks like we got a half a mile track this is gonna be a big one with one of the little dog legs in the back, so. Wowee, that is <laughs> loud, just like every other time you think I'd learn. All right, let's see how we do. We got a big boy motor, so we don't have to worry about anything uh, potentially slowing us down. Popping that Revy. Maybe I should run like a modified quarter midget line, I don't know. I know the last time we were on one of these tracks and I tried to run like high side all the way around. It was not nearly fast enough. Not sure how we're gonna do today though. Yeah, high side is definitely not the side. Alright, so I'm consistently getting like low 14s, but I've got a couple of 3.7s, and it's just one of those tracks where it feels like you shouldn't have to let off because it's such a big track, but you really do. So what I'm doing, um, I'm kind of running high through the straightaways in the kink, popping it right about when the rev limiter starts to slap, set the corner, and just try and not let the car rotate off the corner very much. Um... It likes to kind of want to loop around on the exit. Not actually in danger of totally looping it, but it likes to like pull down the straightaway. And that kind of boogers up the next corner. So yeah, as long as we can keep it straight off the corners, burp it right before the rev limiter hits, we'll be good. But finish this lap. Keep it going straight. That'll be a slow one. It's kind of high there. Well, 13.9. Whatever. So... I took a little bit more practice than I'm used to. As you can tell, I got, yeah, almost 20 laps. But we got it, though. So we're good. Uh, next session, please. The pole was a 14-3. Oh, dude, we were crushing the pole most of the laps then. It's always hard for me to, I don't know, uh, guess where the pole speed's going to be. When it comes to, uh, compared to the goal of our practice, you know. Feels like a pretty good one. That corner could have been better. Yep, got it. Go ahead and finish this one out though, see if we can't improve upon our pole. That one's a little bit better of a corner. Three and four at least. Yep, faster lap, alright. Well, so we've dominated that. Now the qualifying's over, let's see the results. Ooh, Rodriguez, my arch nemesis. <laughs> we tried to get first. <laughs> All right, heats, let's go. We're shots away. Right next to Nashville Music City, whoever that is. I do like these bigger tracks because you still hear the wind up. Yep, I like it. Almost flat footed through that corner for no apparent reason. Third. Whoa. Boy, that was dumb. What was that about? That was all me, too. Come on, baby. Now, I can tell I'm not as talkative in this episode. It is currently like 7.30 in the morning. And I was up two times last night. One at two, one at four. Various issues with various children. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. I'm awake. Yeah, and we have to go to church in like a little over an hour or so. I'm trying to hustle, get all these recordings done in one, uh, one shot. But anyway, there's a fat win right there. Let's see if we can't get another one. I am always curious. Um... It's good when we dominate the heat races, obviously, because it means we're fast, but the dash 
qualifier. That's the one I'm really curious about. Because it, you know, presumably these are the fastest cars in the field. Hopefully Cody Rodriguez has a bad time. You know, and I was thinking about it. <laughs> We're going to have like 15 wins this year, I think, possibly. Um, and it's like, oh man, I got 15 wins? Well, I didn't win by that much. I don't know. It would definitely be a boring year, I think, for someone who would not be a fan of me. <laughs> Going to the A-Main, baby. Ooh, Cody got eighth. <laughs> Loser. All right. They only had a B-Main tonight. Not a lot of cars, I guess. Something, I guess. I don't know. wonder how the game decides that. And I'm going to pay attention to something. In 10 laps, I'm going to see how high or how low the sun gets. Like, this time change during the race? I've noticed in my videos, some races are at night. Other ones, I don't know if they are or not. So I'm just very curious to see, is it something moved during the race or what? We're going to find out. Pretty much the only thing we're going to have to watch because it's like I'm going to walk away with this one too. Getting a little bit hairy here in the back of the pack. I think we just went four wide. Not really sure why I'm attacking so hard. I guess I'm not really attacking, I'm just kind of driving. When they're dog slow, it's hard to not seem like you're attacking. We do have an entire straightaway on number 45. I can't remember who 45 is. I don't think that's Rodriguez. Might be Ramirez. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see. Oh, Samantha Bell. Whoa, and Rodriguez got seventh. Dude, he might lose his spot to Samantha. He's not careful. Another one in the books, though. Yeah, dude, Samantha got 95, and he got 78. Oops, I didn't look at the whole season's uh, standings. Oh, well. Confirm. Oh, so normally, this would be where I would end the episode. But, like I said, um, I'm not doing that today. We're going to have all three of them in one episode. So, let's do that, huh? Yeah, we got a bug bonus. Waterford's done. Now we're going to Woodley. That's a small track, it looks like. Yeah, quarter mile. Yep, onto the two top 15, since there's only two races left. See, this track also is very similarly shaped. But I do need to sell. Nope, don't need to sell. I need to repair. Ta-da! There we go. But, uh, da -da -da, yeah, I guess we're good to go. Let's boogie woogie. This felt weird. I didn't hit the right button. That felt weirder. Now we can go. Holy smokes. Anyway, so I am excited to see what happens at the end of the year. Like, what adjustments you can make as far as, like, I want to hire a driver maybe. Um, I obviously want to do the stadium trucks or whatever they call them on this. So I'm very curious to see what the year-end options are like. So this would have been one where I think I could run the high side of that old motor. But I don't think I'm going to be able to with this one. It's a little bit much. Oh, big hit right there. Alrighty, well, I think I kind of got it figured out. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't mean to do that. R garage, please. Garage. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So, next session, please. What is the poll? A 10-9. So, I have it beat. If I can match the, my fast lap, which I'm not sure if I can. I didn't feel real consistent. I was just kind of tailing the guys ahead of, it, ha bleh, ahead of me, trying to get their line. Which I did, and then they promptly wrecked each other, and then I T-boned him, so... <laughs> Doesn't really matter. The key, I think, is entering high and diving down low. I hope I can get the goal. That will be super embarrassing if I can't even get that. Didn't even get the goal. 
But I qualified seventh. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so another one of those deals where oh, John Xander's fast. All right, cool. If I can replicate my laps, I'll be good, but everyone knows I can't do that because I'm bad. Mm-hmm. So I should presumably win this race. Oh, oh, that was a move I just pulled. Didn't work out, though. Boop. Mr. Five ain't got all. I goosed you. I goosed him. Oh, we're good. I don't mind being competitive with Jeff because he's usually fast. Yeah, there we go. All right, all right. I feel like on the fly I can uh, adjust a little bit. Mm-hmm. I do. So we are going to the dash. Whoop, whoop, starting third. Ooh, maybe we could pull the old uh, quarter midget move here. Oh, and we're gonna. Oh, get on the brakes hard. Oh, no, it didn't quite go right. Arnold, this guy, like, pops up as, whoopsies. Say so pops up as fast a lot, but I don't think he's ever won. He's not gonna win today. All right, green white uh, checkered, which is basically the dash races anyway. Those are, those are uh, green green white checkered. Definitely got the motor that these guys don't have to tell off the starts. That I don't know if they picked up any damage during that little wreck there. It would be nice. Since I have the motor that they don't, if I could take advantage of it by getting the power down quicker. Got it. For an impressive win, says Alan Bestwick. Yeah, okay, John Xander came back though. Check him out. Ooh, it'd be cool if he won this race. He's one of the guys that randomly is like winning races. Well, I don't know if he's won yet, but he'll like show up big randomly and then go back to like the top 15. Ooh, slid up a little bit. Wow. Come on now. What's happening? My stuff's going crazy. Car's turning right when I don't want it to. Oh, Jeffrey. Ooh. Tight racing with uh, Favangano here. He's got the preferred line on entry, but I'm just quick enough I can booger up his uh, corner. Yeah, but then I slide out just like that. Trying to do a crossover. Line there, buddy. There we go. Just do a little putt putt down on the bottom. I try and guard the bottom big from him. Ooh, that's a good door they can uh, open up there. Five to go. John Xander is behind me. Well, I don't know. I just can't hold on the bottom, so I'm just going to quit trying, I guess. Oh, he's getting closer, I believe. Maybe not. I don't know. i got to quit driving out the rear view. Come on. Hello, Mr. Carter. I might just tail up with these dorks. Actually, I can't. He's going to catch me. I don't want to start going back and forth with one of these cars and mess up all of my lap times. I really don't want to wreck one of them either. I'm not confident I could win a quick shootout. But I don't have to. Yeah. Definitely closer than uh, previous races. But uh, good for you, John Xander. Mercy sakes. <sighs> all right. Final results from Woodley. Another win. <laughs> no big deal. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Rodriguez had a good race. Ooh, and Samantha Bell did not. Ooh. Where's Samantha Bell? Fifth. 
fifth. Yeah, dude, and Brian Ramirez. Wow, dude, he's a hundred points from uh, second. I'm curious where Xander's at. Yeah, 22nd. Oh, he's won a race. I didn't realize he had, I guess. Or at least forgot. Big money right there, baby. We got one more race to go to today. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure where it's at. I think Eldora, maybe. Maybe Knoxville? I don't... I don't know for sure. Tires are poor. Must have been burning them up. Survey says... Knoxville. Yep, for the showcase. This is 96% complete. Maybe that's after that. I don't know. We do need to fix the car, though. Ta-da! Yes, Knoxville. Not Tennessee, but Iowa. I used to think it was Tennessee when I was little. <laughs> it's the only Knoxville I knew. No, Who knows what Knoxville, Iowa is, besides the many thousands of people that love the racetrack. You know what I mean? All right, going for 15-4. This is a flat track. Whoa, with weird corners. Oh, no. I could see this going bad for us. It looks like they don't want you to go all the way down to that wall. <laughs> but I'm going to be so tempted to. They just had the first truck race here not that long ago as of this recording. And, uh, boy, was it terrible. Truck drivers were, like, just wrecking into each other. Like, hard. Uh, I'm not really sure what the deal was. Looked like a bunch of morons, but... That, and I guess the track wasn't prepped real good. Like, they laid rubber down on the inside line. It was really a one-lane track. But to be fair, Eldora was like that, too, the first time the trucks went. But, you know, you have Tony Stewart, owns the track. He gave it uh, about a year or so, and they really straightened it up. But I'm sure Knoxville will do the same. I just hope it doesn't sour NASCAR on going back to Knoxville. I mean, it actually feels like a pretty easy track to drive. Flat, wide enough, you can have enough speed where you don't really have to slide that much. Kind of go down that inside here. Yeah, dude, I'm getting four sixes and fourteen fours. Not bad at all. Not sure of the elevation change there on that gray dirt there on the inside, but I don't think I should be down there anyway, so I probably shouldn't worry about it. But man, it's actually a pretty fun track. All right, I think we've got good enough rhythm here. <clears throat> Next session, please. Qualifying. What's the pole? 15-1? Holy smokes, man. So our goal for, like, practice time is only, like, three-tenths slower than the pole has been. That's so crazy. Okay, I tried to flat foot that, and you just can't. So, I'm going to have to make the second lap count. Alright, doesn't matter, I got the pole. This is definitely one where that big motor, I think, helps us out. Like, a ton. There we go. All right, fast enough for the pole. Thanks, Alan. The qualifying results are up. Let's take a look. Abby King was the fast qualifier. Okay, okay. And so was John Zander was fast, too. Again, that dude's turning it up last part of the year. I was still six-tenths faster than the pole, though, which, uh, <laughs> good for me. All right. I believe this is going to be one of those where there's, like, an F main or something like that. I burped it going in there, and I'm not really sure why I did. We weren't even near top speed, but it's me being silly, I guess. Definitely used up the inside of that track. I don't believe that was the smartest move. 
Man, who is this? Who's in that orange and blue 22? Quickenbush, the sheriff. Ooh, this will be a fun race. Hopefully the future will be. I really don't care where I finish. I think I've got the championship locked up. Well, I don't think it's locked up, but as long as I don't do, like, 21st or something, I think I'll be good. Probably should have checked on that before we started this event. Man, Quake and Bush really fast. Really, really fast. Yeah, there's six heat races. Oh. No more right, drivers. I wonder if I've ever had anyone in like an F main make like the A main. If they have, there should be a movie about that. You know, about like never giving up or some dumb crap like that. <laughs> Ramirez! He's not afraid of running a little bit lower than me, so why should I be? Am I running like the middle line or something? I kind of thought I was on the low line. I can out low line this guy, trust me. Whoa, whoa, easy fellas. Well, that's bad for me off the last corner. Jack Gummit. That was smooth. Anyway. Man, to do that, you mean? So who won that, Abby King? No. Okay, so the orange and blue 22, yeah, that's the sheriff. I think I figured that out already, but here I am repeating myself. Yeah, dude, F me, that's crazy. Man, I feel like I'm getting it's a little bit whomped. Just a little bit. We're seconds away from the action. I think if I can hook up and get a little bit of a momentum going, I'll be okay. I think they're better through the corners than I am. Kind of opposite of how it usually is. No, I really didn't want to do that. Backed him all the way down to the fence. Where'd he come out at? 10th. Okay. Not the worst. It's early in the race. He's fine. He's fine. We got Abby King and Quick and Bush around me here. And go, fool. 14 laps. Okay, yeah, because uh, yellow, I guess. Ooh, Quick and Bush coming hard on that inside. Oh, I don't know what happened, but they all kind of disappeared on me. One to go. Man, I've been running some slow laps, like 14 sixes, 14 nine. But uh, everyone in the back, second place on, just can't get their stuff together. But to quote the great Ronald Radke, champion is what they call me. Oh, got it, baby. Yeah, ended up winning by over five seconds, dude crazy race finish final results Knoxville first <sighs> Abby King got second but me and Cody and Brian we were the top three this year although Favangano was close to Brian couldn't quite get it done though wait Abby King where is she at I feel like she's not yeah she's 19th in points with two wins okay I'm not crazy you are Whoa, dude. Sick payout. And we got the uh, the sponsor bonus thing. But we'll get that at the uh, shop or whatever. I'm not even sure. How long is this recording? It's decent. Decent. All right. Yeah, dude. And had moderate driving. Just butter smooth. Anyway. Wow, we're getting a thousand fans. That's cool. And now we can have Edelbrock next year if we want him. Okay, yeah, there's 6,000 for that payout. Yeah, 305 Sprint Champion. Woo! New team driver. There we go. A little bit better skill. Tyler Seabrook. He's reckless, though. Ooh, so reckless. Nice. So, season one summary. Showcase one. Didn't do that great. <laughs> but, yeah, after the. Yeah, dude, after race seven, man, it took off for us. Which is perfect. Yeah, we got 16 wins, dude. I think it was only a 30... I don't know. 
16 wins, 5 wins, 1 win. So 7 plus 16. That would be um, 23, 24, 25, 26. Yeah, 26 race season. And we got 16 wins. Not bad. Yeah, we did it. Oh. Alright, so I don't know what to do from here on out. But anyway, I'm going to figure it out off screen. And I'll catch you, cool cats, next time. Goodbye.